الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ
this one. Okay, awesome. So you guys got the date. Excellent. A big round of applause. It's a Monday and you guys are very good. You are at the right place. And it's orange because Rasulullah used to fast on Mondays and Thursdays. Alhamdulillah. So give me thumbs up or thumbs down if anybody is fasting in your home today. Anybody is fasting in your home today? Most of us now. You know what Rasulullah used to? Let me show you. This is, uh, and you can grab your salah charts. So you have the reminders at the back. So make sure that you are doing your salah chart. Go ahead. Who can? Who has a printout already of the salah chart? Because it has some wonderful, wonderful reminders at the back. This is the month we have the theme for mercy. And Rasulullah said, Rasulullah said, look at the bottom. It is a month. People, this God, that is between Rajab and Ramadan. And what is the month between Rajab and Ramadan? It's the Shaban. And in that month, deeds are presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I like my deeds to be presented when I am fasting. So Rasulullah used to fast a lot. Good job, Maryam. You have the salah chart. Do you have the reminders at the back also, Maryam? One second, sweetie. One second. I'm going to take So oh, um, I got the mercy. Um, um, I only found this uh -huh. um, here. Uh -huh. So one is like Sunnah fasting Monday and Thursday and the other one is Ayatul Bad. Ayyamul Beed, which means the night lights. Ayyam, Ayyam, Ayyam means days and Beed means light. Okay. So the 13, 14 and 15, we see the full moon outside. Those are the night lights. It's the light nights. It's really amazing. Yeah. And we already yeah. found it. Did you hear it? Uh oh. Let me read the dua. Let me complete it, Maria. So, Mariam, uh, we have the printout. I'm just really impressed with that. How about the rest of us? Where is our Salah charts? Hmm? We are already on the eighth day. There's a countdown going. Remember, there's a countdown. Today's eighth day and we are this many days away from Ramadan. So, make sure that you have the printout, okay? And make sure you have your hand raised when you are wanting to speak, okay? And then I will take your name, then you unmute. So this month is a really incredible month and it's the month where we plan and if we fail to plan, then things will not happen, right? So very good. Mariam, I'm happy that you have it. Is a printout. It's good. Then when we are able to talk and discuss the rest of us, make sure that you grab it, okay? Now, months of Islam, you guys made some amazing, Sister Gulnar, they made amazing, amazing videos and they shared reminders. It was so beautiful. So right Masha Allah, Masha yes. Allah, there be right and so right now what you're going to do is you are going to bring your islamic calendar plaques that you made you can bring them in the screen and inshallah we will talk to you one by one okay so but just raise your hand and i'm just going to show here how beautiful the work was so let me Sister see Sister 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 Sister. Uh oh somebody's Sister talking Sister without Sister. raising hand i think we forgot our defense shield got sweet Look at that, like the videos, what your friends posted. MashaAllah, well. they're beautiful, MashaAllah. Right, Alhamdulillah. So we're going to start with first one. Raise your hand if you're wanting to show in the screen right now. You can show it as well. And very amazing products, MashaAllah. So go ahead, Chayana. And the rest of us, be muted because sometimes there's some other sound which is around you. Yes, go ahead, Chayana. Okay. <laughs> this is my Islamic calendar. Wow. That is so beautiful. MashaAllah. That's a great idea to put it together on some creative paper or materials and then put it together. Very good, MashaAllah. Excellent. So if I ask you guys for a test on the Islamic calendar then now you guys can do it if it's on the wall then even the tough words become easier go ahead Myra sweetie I wasn't going to say anything about the Friday scheme show and share uh -huh. it's um that what on the Friday scheme show and share my salah chart um my printer's ink was running low so my salah chart did not print correctly okay all right, so you can always keep a digital copy. Yeah, you, can, you, you can do it with no color, and sometimes your computer lies to you. My computer lies yeah, to but, me. But let them, like, let mom and no, dad know. I, 
tried with no color and it still didn't okay, work. Okay, so ask, take help from an adult. Okay. Take help and let's see if we can get this done, inshallah, okay? Or you can use a digital copy to get this done. So go ahead, Naila. Today we have a story time ahead of us. So let's see. Naila, you were wanted to say something earlier? <laughs> I can see the excitement of the story time. Go ahead, Mubeen. I, I didn't finish my um, Islamic month. Okay, thank you for letting me know. But you see how the, your friends did it? If we keep doing the week's work in that week, then it makes it easier. Okay, Naila? So inshallah, try to finish the task on time, inshallah, okay? So, and even right now when you're listening, your hands can be writing in your notebook. So everybody can open their notebooks and they can write three things they want to do this Ramadan. While we're just going to see quickly our friends sharing. So hold on. And I have a little challenge of uh, putting this screen over. Uh, sure. so uh, go ahead, Mubi. Your turn. I don't know if there is a noise coming from other microphones. Say something so that our camera comes forward. So unmute and then you can say something. This is my son's calendar. Um, First, I um I write um some marketing. Mm -hmm. talking. Yeah, Mubin is talking, but still I think it's showing that I'm not sure. You can hardly know. hear him. Yeah. yeah. Mubin, can you be a little louder? Yeah. I am trying to. Okay, you know what? So, so we're going to repeat turn our cameras off recorded because this is going to come in the recording for me. So if you want to okay. turn your off and I can bring the whole of them in, in the, there so they can show each other how they made each other. You want me to exit and then come no, back? No, not exit. We can just keep it off if you, unless if you like to be in, in there. So oh, you mean turn off the camera? I got it. Okay, now. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Okay, yes. So let's see. Now go ahead, Mubin, show it now. Everybody can show them right now. Can you want to show yours now? Excuse me, Sister Javidia. Yes, Maya. Um, this is my Sonic Studies um calendar. I added it with cardboard and I added it with a golden Very string. Very nice, mashallah. And Zoha, you want to tell about yours? That's beautiful. And Safiya, I'm so proud of yours showing us the salah chart. That was beautiful. Good job, Noura. That was amazing, mashallah. Excellent work. Go ahead, Zoha. Zoha, you want to share? What did you find that? Yes, Zoha, yours was amazing too. Very nice, mashallah. I love this. Very nice, mashallah. I love this. Excellent. Yes, Zoha, go ahead. Okay, I'm only, I'm going to share one fact. Uh -huh. Each month in the Islamic year has a meaning to it. Very good. For example, Shaban, Tuesday. Safar, empty. Ramadan, intense heat. Mashallah. <laughs> that was beautiful, beautiful work, Sister Gunnar. They did so amazing. So big round of applause Thank for everybody. And we Thank are you, going to bring out some confetti for you. <laughs> oh, mashallah. And let's Good. sing them one time together, everybody. Can we all sing them together? Ready? Noura was, like, it was so beautiful how she was singing it. It was so nice, mashallah, to hear it. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Yes, Sumaya, dear. Uh, can you show mine? Yes, yes, you can show. That was a showing time. Mashallah. This is 
This is my final month song. Like, okay. very nice. That's the I like yeah, the sizes as well. That's really amazing. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Right. They're in order. Excellent. All right. So now let's move on to our mind map. In our mind map, we are going to move towards stories. Who is excited? Give me thumbs up if we are now ready for the stories for the rest of our semester. Now, when we two are going to go to the stories, you know, we are going to listen to their stories, but at the same time, we are going to think about ourselves. So today, we are starting with story of Nabi Yunus and we will see if we move to, before we go to the break, uh, one more story, we can review everything, okay? Friends, keep okay. muted in case you have distortion because then the recording will have only the sounds and then some people are not able to hear it, okay? Now, in this story, our learning target is that am I able to tell what was what happened with the story of Yunus alayhi salam, okay? That's one goal. The goal number two is if you are a smart kid, you will be able to learn the amazing, incredible dua of Yunus alayhi salam that got him out in the worst of situation. You know what would be a worst of situation? Is there anybody in my classroom today who has ever been, raise your hands only, okay, don't start speaking, who has ever been locked up somewhere, okay? You were locked up somewhere and you spend like quite a lot of time in there and nobody knew that you are there and you were like really locked. It could be you were locked up in a bathroom or in an elevator or maybe in a house and there was nobody around you. Has you ever been in that situation? Go ahead, Musa. What happened? Tell us the story. He did? <gasps> okay. Yeah. In Islamabad, I went to the bathroom, so I was locked, so I told my mom, so my mom told how to unlock yourself. I didn't understand, but still I, I did it. So how long were you there in, the, in that situation, Lisa? Oh, you you mean Eunice was locked in the whale's belly? Uh oh, do you see friends with raised hands? I really appreciate their patience, mashallah. So, Musa, can you finish your statement? How long were you there in that situation? I think minutes or seconds. I think seconds. Yeah, seconds. A little seconds. A little second you were there? Okay. Anybody else has a story that they want to share that they were locked up? Raise your hand. Yes, Celine. My door was hard to open. Um, and then I heard my dad walking to the um, bakery. I I called him, and then he opened the door. All right, Naila. But now it's six. Alhamdulillah. How did it feel? The rest of us, we can get to the book page. I was bored. That's fine. I want to tell something. I have a story. Okay, wait a second, sweetie. If we raise our hand, we do not start talking, right? So let's hold on and let's listen to one person at a time. Yes, Naila. Naila, I think, is very noisy uh, over there. I think uh, right, so if you're in the school, I think it's a lot of noise coming. Um, I'm not sure how everybody is feeling about it. Yeah. Yeah, but if I keep everybody unmuted, then it's like so much disturbance. Um, so when I was at the at the beach with my friends, and when um I I tried to go to the um to the um like the bathroom, but then the door locked for um 30 minutes until my mom came okay. now you know what um zara how are you doing zara zara are you with us can you hear us 
She's here, Sister Zara. She was late, but she's here. No, but I think she walked away. I really wanted to ask her because I'm missing her Flipgrid videos. And I've sent Sister Zara? Yeah, Zara? Sister Gumar? Okay. Sister right. Gumar, you know Sister Zara. Sister Gumar, Sister Zara. Situations and stories. I know you all are eager to share what happened in your life. And, you know, it feels like, you know, that we are stuck somewhere. Now, listen very closely, which happened with Yuna Salaita. Sister Gumar. And this week. We will be sharing our stories as well in the in on Friday and seeing that in case, in case, in case, sometimes something happens and we are stuck somewhere, how can we come out? Now, I have some friends joining us today with me for the story time. Can you guess who they are? They are coming out right now. Who do you think they are? A sharky, a sharky. <laughs> Jay! I say! It's a puppy! A dolphin! And who do I have here? Uh, Alright, this is one of my favorite. I went to the sea well and got it from there. Oh, so um, this is so cute, Sister Julia. Alright, so is, if you uh, are in a place where you can get, I mean, like some of you are at school, but if you can get a uh, fish, maybe you have something. It will be enjoyable to read the story of Yunus Alayhi Salaam and feel it. If I was in school, then I would have let you pet the fish here and I'm going to tell you a great story. So go ahead, you can do a hand petting here. There, she's smiling at you. And, yeah. Myra's petting the, the, the fish, yeah. Right, she's feeling so happy. Oh my God. So now fingers on the text and let's listen very carefully, okay? Any questions, comments, thoughts, we will keep it after this, all right? So this is not a and Zara is missing you. I'm not sure that you're around. So let, come back and tell me you're here if you're back, okay? Now, story of Nabi Yunus alayhi salam. This is on page number 64. Show me one time on the on the screen that you are at the right page. Good job, Celine. Everybody, five, four, three, two, one, Z-E-R-O. Good job. Those who showed. How about Sister Javidia, I love your story. Sister Javidia. Yes. I love this story. Say it again. I love this story. You love this story? Yeah, I love this story too. And let's make, you know, before even we start the story, let's take 30 seconds and ask Allah SWT that Allah, we want to see it in real, in Jannah. When we are in Jannah, we can ask the angels to show us what is happening in real, right? Inshallah. And you can meet Salah as well. So, uh, Ayla, you got your book, sweetie? Good job, Aliza. You got a friend too now. So, make sure your book is there too, okay? All right. Let's get started, inshallah. And I will get to the right page, sweetie. Page 64. Very good. Okay. It's good. good. All right. Now, sit comfortably, put your finger on the text, and imagine that we are in a land called Nineveh. The land is called Nineveh. And there was sent a very special prophet. His name was Yunus, alayhi salam. His people did not believe in Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like you guys are right now sent in Roswell and in Atlanta, Georgia and USA, right? There are many people who, who have the dollar bill that says in God we trust, but many people do not follow what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. So he was in a land where people did not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They also did many wrong deeds. Yunus alayhi salam told people to believe in Allah and worship him alone. Give me thumbs up if he is doing the right thing. Or what do you think? Uh, he should mind his own business. Why is he bothering others? Or do you think, no, he is doing the right thing. Prophets are sent to remind people to do the right thing. Just like, you know, if I'm sitting here, I need to remind you. If you do not have the book, I will remind you. But I cannot force you, right? I can just tell you to make the most of this time, but we cannot force you. So Yunus alayhi salam was reminding people to do the right thing and worship one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. He warned them that if they did not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would punish them. Like as a person, if you remind somebody, let them know of the consequences and then leave the choice to the people, right? Like for example, if you do not 
do R E A D read to succeed, then you will fail if the test comes and it will be bad grade and then it will be difficult to go to the next grade and learn. So we have to be very focused, right? So uh, uh, he reminded them and Yunus and I Salam kept reminding them, but people did not listen to them. What do you think? The people are doing a good job or people are, you know, it's like, I'm not sure. Or do you think people are doing a bad job here? They are not listening to him. Very good, Musab. Excellent, Aliza. Good job, Arhan. Excellent. So, Zara, uh, can you hear me now, Zara? Yes. Okay, so where were you? We were missing you. I was sick. You were sick. Okay, and Zara, I'm missing your work. We were talking about all these beautiful work, and some of my friends, I miss their work, but, you know, I really, really want... Do you see all these Flipgrid videos, Zara? Well, it's all blank. Say it again. The assignments, all of them are blank. Why is that? I don't know. So you have to then reach out to me, okay? Call me after class or reach out to me or message Sister Gulnar. We need to help and we need to get you there because yeah. it's not blank for anybody. Yeah. So we need to make sure that you're seeing it because otherwise the work will be missing. Okay? So make sure that you figure it out. So stay here after the class and I'll, I'll open up your phone okay? and stay there for a minute. Can I start the story? Okay, let's go back to the story, friends. All right. After trying for a long time, Yunus alayhi salam became upset. What do you think? Is that the right thing to do? Or if it's not the right thing to do, and I'm not sure. If we keep telling somebody to do their work and they do not do their work, should we start becoming upset and angry? No, we should not become upset. Okay, very good. Good job. All right. So he thought no one would listen to him, so he decided to leave the city. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had not yet given him the order. It's just like, you know, if you were telling somebody something nice and they are not listening and you start becoming angry and you're like, okay, I don't care now, I'm going to leave. So not like that, but he was like, you know, he was calling them to Allah, but they were not listening. So he went, he left without the permission from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So a ship was leaving town. So Yunus alayhi salam joined the people on the ship. When the ship was in the middle of the sea, a big storm came. Can you pretend a big storm is coming? Now the ship is going like, like this. It's like swirling around and the water is going so fast and it's swirling around and everything. I watched a video on this. I watched the video on this. Right. Yeah. But at this time, let's read the words and reinforce, right? So what happened? Yunus, like the people were like, that. what's going to happen? So there's some more details, but eventually Yunus salam, had to jump off the ship. And when he jumped, a big whale appeared. Hmm, a big whale. And what did it do? It swallowed Yunus salam, right? So let's say it was that. So it took Yunus and Aisalam and it just went back into the water. <laughs> <laughs> right? Now what happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, he, the whale took like a big gulp, right? You want to pet the whale as well? Look at that. I may have made a whale as well right now. You can even make one right now. And then, yes, you can pet it. You know, it took it like, you know, like it just swallowed. And then it gulped and it went down. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected Yunus alayhi salam inside the whale. He was not hurt. Why? Why do you think he was not hurt? Why was he not chewed up? Yes, Samaya? Because Allah helped him. Very good. You know, like when, you know, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the whale. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the whale not to eat him up, but just keep him safe inside. Now, it was very dark inside. Can you close your eyes, everybody, and see how dark it looks? Everybody close your eyes. I can't even see this. It looks so light. Yeah. And it looks so light when I close yeah, my I eyes. I want you to close your eyes for 30 seconds and your, your tongue too and just feel. And now you have to do something and you can't see anything. Pretend the light has gone out. Now we can't see anything. Oh, my God. Where is my computer? Oh, my God. Where is this whale? Oh. Where is my book even? I can't even see that. It's so dark. Oh my God. So it was very lonely. And he began to think about why this happened. Okay. So he began to think, why has this happened? 
as he thought about his actions that's why sometimes i want to quiet your you guys out okay sometimes i have to mute so that you can think because if you are ready to talk you're not thinking okay so let's take a 30 second thinking challenge now it's dark close our eyes it's very dark and there's nobody around and now i'm stuck in the belly's veil and now i'm thinking why did i hear what happened so Samaya, no unmuting anymore, okay? It's dark. You can't even see the unmute button, okay? <laughs> oh, <wow>. the instructions. <laughs> so see, if your brain is ready to just speak, then it's not thinking. And I want to make thinkers in this classroom, okay? And I really want people to think, think, and use their time creatively. So Mariam, no showing at this time. I just want you to think at this time, okay? I will tell you when I will need to see things. Now he realized that he should not have left the city without Allah's permission. You know, my friends, in a day, I want you to add some minutes in which you just stop. Stop doing anything that you're doing. And just think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just think, am I doing the right thing? I'm going to give you 10 seconds right now just to think, am I doing the right thing right now? Oh, oh, Aliza. Oops. <laughs> Licking on the table. What's going on? Okay, just think. Relax. Sit back. Take a deep breath. And just let your thoughts think through. What did I do since morning today? And am I doing the right thing? Okay. And then just think. Is Allah going to be happy with me what I'm doing? Or is there something that I need to change? Any thoughts on that? Raise your hand if you're ready to speak. Any thoughts on those 10 seconds? How did you feel? Anybody wants to share what thought came to their mind? Yes, go ahead. Mary. So today, today, uh, today I, I, I ate my food. No, I just don't want to tell you to tell me the story, but I want to ask you, did thinking make you me feel good that you were able to think about something? Yeah. Yes? Yes, yeah, Maya? Maybe. Uh -huh. It made you feel happy. Alhamdulillah. Thank you for showing that as well. So friends can use their hands for a lot of things. Sometimes we can use our brain to think. Yes, Aliza? Um... Uh, like um, what I felt I have to change today was um, that um, I have like to stop um, like um, I have to stop doing stop doing um, stop like um. Stop. Stop my food. Stop, stop doing what? Stop wasting my food. Stop wasting your food. I love that reflection, uh, Aliza. Then when you think, then we can reflect back. And this is really amazing. And you think about what do I need to change in my life right? to make it better. So excellent. So Maya, go ahead, sweetie. Uh, about what? I thought you'd raise your hands. It's okay. If you did not, then it's okay. All right. So let's continue. Now he thought about it and he realized that when he realized his mistake, I'm on the next page. You can see that now the whale is near coming to an island. So let's see what's happening. When he realized his mistake, he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So sometimes when you realize that something has to change or why something has happened, all you need to do is reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like for example, if you realize that I am not good at maths and maybe I'm not able to do my maths very properly, then you can ask Allah, oh Allah, make my maths very good, right? Is it that difficult to ask? What do you think, yes or no? No, right? So we can always ask Allah. You want to be the best in drawing? You can just raise your hands and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you made a mistake, let's say a glass broke down or somebody was hurt, then you can just ask Allah to forgive you. So he realized his mistake and he prayed to Allah to forgive him. He said, oh Allah, there is no God apart from you. 
there is no God apart from you. Look at his, you know, I'm going to show you that dua that he made. So in the belly veil, he said that la ilaha illallah. There is no God but you. Anta subhanaka. You are and glory be to you. Inni kuntu mina Indeed, I am from the wrongdoers. You know, this is equality of the best people. They don't blame others. They start looking at their own self. They always check their own self. Am I being the best? Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? So they don't keep on saying, oh, look at that. That person is doing this. This person is doing this. No, they always check their own self. So he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do? What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do? He is a Rahman and a Rahim. Give yourself a big hug. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us so much. So, he forgave him. Yes, he forgave him. And what did he do? He made the whale, you know, put Yunus alayhi salam out its belly onto the seashore. So the whale came and this was the seashore and it carefully brought him out, right? And he was put down on the seashore. And you know, Yunus alayhi salam, when you has anybody of you ever swam for a little while in the in the water? Right? No. Nope. You, you see your hands become all wrinkly and like old kind of a feeling if you sometimes yeah. swim for too long. So you yeah. very yeah. tired indeed. So Allah Ta'ala made a plant grow next to him. There was like a special special plant that covered it. And the, the plant was giving food to eat. It was giving a shade for him. Has ever like when little babies are born, they are put in like an incubator. They have like lights and they put that inside so they are protected from all the germs and everything. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made like Yunus alayhi salam like into an incubator area. So he is like safe from any other animals to find him. These were like big leaves which covered him so the other animals don't eat him up or things like that. And it shaded for him from the hot sun. So after a few while, Yunus alayhi salam felt better and strong again. Can everybody show me you're strong? Hmm? Are you feeling better and strong? Good job. MashaAllah. Look how strong you guys are. Excellent. <laughs> Safiya has all the energy there. They had began. Now, now what happened? He went back to his people after realizing his mistake. When we make a mistake, we not only ask Allah, we don't only say sorry to Allah, we also say sorry to people as well, right? Like, for example, at this time, if anybody ever felt heard that Surveya is not listening to you, I'm going to say, I'm sorry. It's not possible for listening to everybody at one time, right? So please forgive me so always be generous in asking you can tell mom or dad anybody that i'm sorry i didn't mean to say this but if ever 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 i have hurted you please forgive me how many of us can do that today by the way just go to our own family members you know what yes we can go to our own family members and even hug them and tell them that sometimes i might have you know not listened to you properly or i might have just you know not been able to get keep up with things but i yes Sophia. You know, raise your hand and wait, right? So yes, Sophia. Okay. So 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 once I lost, I lost. I recently lied to my mom, mm -hmm. and I felt really, really bad about it. Mm -hmm. I, I was so sad about it. One night that I, that I went downstairs and told my mom the truth. Mashallah, I'm so proud of you sure. for doing that at that time and I'm so proud of you sharing it with others at this time because sometimes we don't share that, oh, we also get tricked by shaitan and we sometimes pretend, oh, we are the best. No, we are not the best. Sometimes we do get tricked. Things do happen, you know, from us. Just you know, you know, you know, when you see the story, by Allah SWT saved this story in the Quran, that even mistakes happen from sometimes the prophets as well. But the difference yeah. between them was that they are immediately ready to say sorry. So listen first carefully that he went back to his people right. after realizing the mistake. And which city did he go back to? Can everybody say the name of the city now? Which city? R-E-A-D-E to succeed. With Sister Javeria? No, no, no. The city people. name was not Sister Javeria. <laughs> he went back to the city of... And you know what? This is surprise when he left them, not even one person was listening, right? 
but when he went back, all of them had become believers. When he left, people realized their mistake and they started worshiping Allah. And they asked Allah that Allah send him back and back us from punishment. And they, uh, some, some of us, we know that it's like almost one lakh people started worshiping back Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the, what we learn from this is that if we listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will forgive us and he will make us happy. Now at this time, I need somebody to look at this very carefully because this is something that you're going to do tomorrow. You will have the cutouts and you will have to put them in order. Okay, so let's see if you can, one of you can tell me the order, which one should go where. You can even use annotation to write one, two, three, four, five, six. On I can see your hands, friends, but I can see the, the clock as well. And I need to finish first before I ask you for questions. Okay, I always stay there after the class as well for questions and answers. So listen first carefully. You have the annotate and you write one, two, three, four, five, six, and raise your hand if you're ready to share that. Why are we keeping this as one, two, three, four, five, and six? Why? Maybe I can't oh, no. uh, annotate. Okay, if you cannot annotate, then I want you to think in your workbook, I can't uh, annotate. Your workbook as well, so you can even look there. But you don't, even without annotating, you can raise your hand and tell me if you feel confident that you know why something should go there. Okay? How many of us feel confident about it? All right. Isa, go ahead. Tell me the reason why one should be here and then two where friends are staying. One should be the first one because it's telling the name, the story. The second one should be the one next to the story title because it's telling he was there. Okay, very good. That's like the city of Manawa. And then the third one is telling that they uh, that he left the city because no one was listening Her to him and he was angry. The second one is showing the boat here. You can use observe there's a boat right here, right? And then you can see that how he's been solid up. So good try. I want everybody to realize like that in and have that reasoning in your mind, okay? Maybe sometimes you can have one picture before the other because of your interpretation or how you are doing it. Okay, but at the time, I will tell you how, once you will be putting it, if you can, some of us make our work so special by caring. <laughs> Sister Kuna, will we be able to make thinkers in this room? What do you think? Um, they're just impatient when you're raising your hand and the teacher's talking you can't interrupt guys that is not okay <laughs> please wait to be called on yeah. thank you yeah and that will be you we will get to you faster trust me we're going to get to you faster okay so just make sure that you are coloring you're pasting that you can even put this in an order remember and remember our target number one was that can I tell the story of Yunus alayhi salam? So for that, you will have the Friday Steam and Show to tell the story. You can have any props or materials, any fishes, anything that you want to use to show it. And number two, the the advance bonus would be that after that you learn about Prophet Yunus salam, anytime if we are stuck, we feel we are stuck somewhere then we should always ask for forgiveness. We should know that we made a mistake or if did we do anything wrong, remember Allah, rush to say sorry and try your best not to do it again, right? And do what makes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy. And same goes for your parents, same goes for your teachers, that first listen and then obey, okay? Listen first. Listening still is something very, very important. So let's listen carefully one more time this dua. I will say this three times. And you would be able to say this all by yourself. So I'm going to say it and then you all are going to say it, okay? Ready? La, la ilaha illa anta. That's one part. Subhanaka, second part. Inni kuntu mina walimin, third part. La ilaha illa anta. Subhanaka, inni kuntu mina walimin. Third time. La ilaha illa anta. Subhanaka, 
inni kuntu mina wali mean. Now your turn. Everybody unmute and you is gonna say it. So inshallah we will send you the uh, the recording for that we will send you in your class cake so you can practice more but by next Monday we should all be able to say that if you would like to have this secret in case anytime you get stuck then you have the recipe how to come out of it inshallah all right on a Friday's team show and share you can talk about your stories you can talk about how you connect with this story how do you feel so connected with Yunus alayhi salam because in my life also sometimes I get stuck right and then I ask Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unlocks the doors and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings us out of it so jazakumullah khair for being so patient now go ahead let's talk about what's on your mind and if anybody wants to leave they can inshallah for your break inshallah uh, but if there's anything yes and zara stay there so you okay so start from Sumaya. go ahead sister Sumaya. one person at a time sweetie Sumaya, go ahead sweetie can I make a video and then share it in the assembly? Yes, you can. And inshallah for Ramadan challenge also we will do that. And for this also we will do that. Okay. And regarding the presenter, I know that you have presented. Some of the presenters, if they really somebody has not presented, they can even email me. Okay. They, they really want them, they can email me. Jazakallah khair, Sumaya. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can I show my face? Yes, you can. So, so for for example, so um, my, my um, this is my fish. So I do this. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. Alhamdulillah. I use it with four straws, uh -huh. so and it go like. Yes, I love it. Mashallah. What is the yellow thing on it? The yellow thing is for the, it's, there are these black thingies that I got, therefore, I didn't want to wear the color, so I put it these black thingies for extra nice, so then the fish is as heavy as, as the, as the shark. Very nice, mashallah, very nice, excellent. Jazakumullah khair for sharing that, and Jazakumullah khair for your patience. Go ahead, uh, Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Noura. In one of Nora, I think you're muted, sweetie. In one of my PBLs for Flipgrid, I presented the story as well. Wow, that'd be so cool. So you can redo it for the Friday Steam Show and Share as well, right? So you can always use the materials that you have for Friday Steam Show and Share also. Okay? Yes, Aliza, sweetie. <laughs> I wanted to tell my. I just wanted to tell you my 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 um what my story uh of. Uh huh. Go ahead. Go ahead, Elisa. I think she got dropped. Yeah, I think she got yeah. Okay, okay so this is our assistant Sanjay Vaidya. Assalamu alaikum. It was very dark. And that was, I was a bit. I was like, I think I was like crying. Okay, so Sanjay Vaidya, I was like three or so, two or so. And it was dark. It was dark. It was a little. Tight, like uh, covered with a lot of stuff in there right. too. So my my dad and my my dad was trying to open it, or my mom was trying to open it, mm. but it used to take one hour or something. I think. Right, right, right. It must be so sad, right? Next time you can pray all the time this dua, inshallah. So it will make you not cry, and inside it it will make you strong, inshallah. La ilaha illa anta. So I didn't cry, but alhamdulillah, very nice. Zoha and Safiya, you want to share something? No. And I also wanted to tell something else. I want to I 
Um, what did you say? What are we talking about? Uh -huh. Is there anything you wanted to ask or share? Yeah. Share anything? Well, do you? Well, I drew, well, I drew, um, this. Oh, wow, this is so cool. I love it. Mashallah. I drew it on my scratch board. That's very nice. It's a good use of time, alhamdulillah. And that can help us visualize, right? So you can, uh, even for the steam show and share, you can draw and you can remember how Yunus alayhi salam got out of the bed. Mr. Jafiri, I wanted to tell you something. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to draw another picture. Today, in my break, I made breakfast for my dad. I gave him a card which says, I love you. And then else, I also made him a, um, I, what he drinks, uh, I gave, what he has every day, um, I gave him some nuts. That um, is so and cool. I also gave him a banana, <laughs> and I gave him some milk. Very nice. I'm so proud of you, mashallah, for being so helpful. Allah subhanahu wa bless you for that. Excellent. Yes, Zohar. I love looking. Very good. Yes, Zohar. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your very, you're super sweet. <laughs> and you're super cute. <laughs> yeah. And give a big hug to your mommy from my side, okay? Okay, right. assalam. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair. Fi manilah. Assalamu alaikum. 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 Assalamu alaikum.